Okay, so as you know, um, I like to offer an intention and um, this week we, we talk about mindfulness um, and, and so, and this is how we've been starting our meditations to connect to the physical body to bring you into the mindfulness of being present with your body, to be embodied, to be in this space and not letting your mind wander to something that's happened before that might happen in the future. Just being here present with yourself in these present surroundings. So part of that connecting to the body, connecting to the breath is that practice of mindfulness, but also bringing yourself into a space of heightened presence. You can do that through maybe contemplating the things in your life that do bring you peace and presence and joy so that we're not ruminating on, like we discussed, stressors or what might happen or what has happened, but really contemplating the things that you already know bring you a sense of um, wholeness and peace and connection. Um, I have my little go-tos. As soon as I think of my daughter, I get emotional every time I just think about her. She's wonderful. We're very, very close, right? She immediately gets me into a space of presence and makes me feel anchored, anchored. Um, I just heard a meow. That's why I like it because I've got cats that I absolutely adore. My, my, my cats bring me a sense of like presence and joy. And if you're an animal person, you know that as soon as you connect to an animal, it's like this kind of feeling of grounding and, and they, they, they tend to calm your nervous system. Um, and also the simple things. Like I love my cup of coffee in the morning, right? When I'm sipping that cup of coffee, it, it brings me into a space of grounding. Like I like the taste of it. I like the warmth of it coming into my body. And I'm just bringing up little examples that really help me feel that. Um, and if I am feeling very frazzled, I will force myself, even if I'm too busy, to take a walk outdoors. Uh, I feel present. I feel connected. I feel... I'm like, I'm here right now, even if I'm stressed out, it, it has this um, really powerful ability just because I do, it's easy for me to look at the beauty of the trees and feel the, the air and just to feel my feet on the earth. So again, these are just ones that really feel like they hit home for me. Um, when we go into our meditation, I'm going to offer you the mo a moment to kind of contemplate what those things might be for you. And notice when you think of those things, notice immediately how your body and mind and emotions start to react when you bring them up into your consciousness, right? This is the effect that they have when you're practicing them, when you're in the moment with them, but you can also recreate it right now to have a sense of calm in where you are in the moment, okay? So we'll start with those mindfulness um, or little cues to bring us into our body, into this moment, and then I'll give you that suggestion to start to contemplate those other things. So straight spine, I'm seated, sitting cross-legged, but if you have your feet, um, if you're sitting in a chair, make sure your feet are on the floor. Close your eyes. So initially we want to fidget a little bit just to get some comfort going on, that's fine. But then find some stillness. And then begin to bring yourself more present in the moment by scanning your body. Notice your feet, your legs. Feel a sense of settling into your hips. Even allow your hips to feel a little bit more heavy as you sink into your seat. And even though you're sinking down, the spine is still upright, not in a forced, rigid, upright posture, but just a sense of lifting. Lift through the chest. Lift through the crown of the head. And then from that lift, observe a lightness through your chest. Think of your heart kind of 
pulling up a little bit more in your chest. See if you can relax your shoulders a bit. But as you relax them, instead of letting them slouch forward, see if you can let them gently roll back. And then draw your chin in. So even the back of your neck is lifted. And continue to observe your body. And it's okay if there's spaces of discomfort, of tension. Or maybe you're witnessing the ability to sit here a little bit more comfortably with a little bit more ease. But the main intention is to observe and do your best to try to maintain stillness. And then from this space, feeling embodied, see if you can try to imagine your body in space as if you are looking at your body in the room that you're in. Like you're stepping outside of yourself to observe yourself. And then come back into fully occupying the awareness within the body. And start to sense the breath, the natural breath, as it flows in and out of your nose. And then gradually start to take slower, deeper breaths. Inhale, feel your belly, chest, space beneath the shoulders expand. Exhale from the shoulders, the chest, and the belly, and let it draw in. Inhale from the pelvis all the way up to the space beneath the shoulders. Exhale, emptying out from the shoulders all the way back down to your tail. So take a few rounds of deep breathing, just like that. Full inhale. Full exhale. As you continue to take those deep breaths, see if you can notice the body relaxing a little bit more. Even though the breath is deeper and slower, you're not forcing air into the body, you're relaxing into the body to invite space for more air. And really try to keep reminding yourself to stay present with your body, with your breath. Try to keep your mind focused. Letting go of anything that you might have been focusing on beyond this moment. I know sometimes that's challenging, but that's why we keep reminding ourselves to come back to the sensation of the breath to come back to the sensations of the body in this moment. Okay, so you can choose to continue that deep breathing, or maybe you wanna come back to your natural breath. Take a moment to think of three things that really bring you peace, 
even joy. And contemplating each of those things one at a time. And like I said, it can be very simple. As simple as reading a good book or getting a good night rest or having a delicious meal or spending time with friends. But as you think about that thing, focus on really trying to be there and notice what it does to your body, to your emotions. Connect to the sense of joy within your body, the sense of peace within your mind. And just stick to one thing right now and I'll let you know when you can move to the next. But imagine yourself there in that moment, as simple or as grand as it might be. Really try to be there. And then gently move on to the next thing and see if you can shift your awareness to the second thing that brings you peace, maybe even fills you with joy. And as you contemplate that next thing, try to truly imagine yourself there. And begin to notice, begin to witness just bringing it to the conscious recognition of your mind, how your body starts to react. As a reminder that if we focus on the things that bring us peace and joy, we can help to regulate the systems in the body. If we choose to constantly contemplate the things that bring us anxiety and stress, then that's how our body is going to react. And it's always helpful to remind ourselves that we have things that do bring us that sense of peace. So continue to contemplate and be as present in that second thing that you are grateful for that brings you peace. Try to see it in detail. Begin to witness its effect on your body. And then finally shift your awareness to the third thing. Imagine yourself truly there. Taking in all the sweetness, all the goodness of that thing that brings you peace. Notice how it shifts your emotions, how it alters your mental state. Maybe you even feel a sense of calm in the body. Maybe even offer gratitude to these things. 
knowing that even if you're not experiencing them in reality in the moment, that they are a part of you and you can call upon those sensations to fill you with calm. Okay, now we're gonna gently back out of the meditation. Place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on top of your left. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Release the breath in a sigh out of your mouth. Gently release your hands and gradually open your eyes. Okay, so let's move a little bit. Um, and I, I still, as, as we're moving the body, um, keep coming back to, okay, like really feeling how am I registering this sensation in my body instead of, because we could be doing an entire practice and be completely disconnected. And honestly, sometimes there's some days that that happens and that's okay, right? That like, there's something so pressing in your life that you just can't possibly, you're still going to get some benefits of being there. But I think that the ultimate thing is just being compassionate and keep coming back, right? Keep coming back to the movement. Keep coming back to the body. Keep coming back to the breath. Keep coming back to your intention, right? What are you here for? Are you here just because Lifestyle Medical offers you this opportunity? Are you here because you want greater peace and, and wellness in your life? And maybe remind yourself of the intention. So initially, we're going to come back to the breath, so feel free to close your eyes again. Inhale through the nose. Out of the nose, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Gently blink open your eyes. Now we're going to connect movement to the breath. Start with your arms to your sides. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale, lower your arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take them down. Do that one more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Resting your hands at your sides, you can rest them on the chair. Just try to keep the shoulders back again, up, up lifted spine. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, forward. Again, inhale right and try to even um, put your gaze, like roll your eyeballs as far to the right as you can. And then back to the center. And one more time to the left. Again, roll your eyeballs as far to the left as you can. And back to the center. Start to gently roll your shoulders forward and back. And then roll your shoulders in the other direction. Guide your right ear to the right shoulder. Now we're stretching the neck and then take your right hand to the opposite side of your head and very gently pull your left ear, your right ear towards your right shoulder. Release the right hand down, pick your head back up. Left ear comes to the left shoulder. Take your left hand to the opposite side of your head. 
Relax your shoulders as you gently pull the ear over. And then release that hand down, pick your head back up. Interlace your fingers. Now, if it's comfortable for you, try to press your palms away. Tuck your chin in, round your spine. Press into your shoulder blades as you round here. And then release your hands. Roll it all the way back up. Now you're going to take your hands behind you. If you can grab onto the chair, go ahead. So you're going to roll your shoulders back. Press your chest up. If it's comfortable, look up. But feel the chest lifting into the arch of the spine. Good. Gradually bring it back to the center. Okay, so now we're going to continue with flexion of the spine, meaning creating that arch and that rounding, opening and rounding. And we're going to take the hands onto the knees or the thighs. As you inhale, reach your chest forward, pull your shoulders back, feel your sit bones rotate back. And then exhale round, pull the belly in. Try to feel your tailbone pull towards your face. Good, do it again. Inhale, open it up, try to arch. Exhale, pull it in and round the spine, round the shoulders forward. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, open it up and reach. Exhale, pull it in and round. Good, and gently unravel all the way back up. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of gentle tapping. And this helps to kind of stimulate the circulation in the scalp. It also helps to kind of calm the mind, kind of bring the blood flow in a balanced way towards every part of your head. So gentle tapping, it's nothing forceful but it does, definitely does stimulate the circulation to the surface. And then start to move towards your face. Again, gentle tapping, but we're kind of waking everything up on the surface, which also does create a sense of calm because it's more balanced, more equally distributed, flowing freely. Good. Now we start to go towards the shoulders and the top of the chest. And you can even get a little bit more forceful right here in the bridge, the, the connection where your shoulders and neck connect. A lot of us hold a lot of tension there. So maybe you want to kind of chop it a little bit like with the the base of your pinky a little bit more. Okay, and then start to kind of, so we're gonna cup the hands a little bit and start to cup the arm. And the top and also underneath. And make sure you get that area where the lymph nodes are, around where your armpit is. And again, this isn't forceful, right? It's a gentle sensation. Other hand cup, cupping the opposite arm. Make sure you get underneath. Um, where the lymph nodes are under the armpit. Helps to stimulate the drainage there. 
Okay, and if you feel comfortable tapping the chest, go ahead or just skip it and move towards your belly. And then if you can, with the backs of the hands, you kind of tap your back. And then we're going to go back to the cupping down the legs all the way down towards the feet and up and feel free to try to get the backs of the legs as well. Okay. Gently come all the way up. Now we're going to sit in a moment of stillness just so you can feel the sensation of that. Maybe you feel a little bit of tingling as all the, the blood vessels kind of are stimulated at the surface of your skin. Just settle and breathe. Really nice. Okay, go ahead and blink, open your eyes. You're gonna extend the arms all the way up, another inhale here, and then drop your right arm down and gently reach with your left arm over to the right. Now you can hold on to the chair or you can just let the arm hang. Bring it all the way back up. Same movement on the other side. First start, both arms extended. Inhale up. And then drop that left arm down as you reach your right arm over to the left. And then take it all the way back up. Okay, now we're going to twist it to the right. So... Left hand to the outside of the right leg, right hand behind you. Try to keep your lower back lifted as you look over that right shoulder. Keep your feet grounded. Just breathe into that twist. Untwist back to the front. And we'll switch sides, right hand to the outside of the left leg, left hand behind you and twist. And untwist back to the front, really nice, okay. We're gonna take a gentle forward fold over both legs. Give yourself a little bit of space and try to hang your chest over your thighs. Now go to your point of control, right? Don't, you're not gonna stretch strain in this forward fold. So if this is as far as the back comfortably feels or here, but regardless, that upper body is gonna just hang over the legs. Beautiful, and when you're there, Relax and breathe. Let the neck go, let the shoulders soften, just sink into that deep forward fold. Okay, take your time, slowly rounding all the way back up. Excellent. So now shift your hips a little bit further forward on the edge of the chair. Open the left leg out to the left. So you're basically as close to a 90 degree angle with your legs as you can take it. Take your left forearm onto your quadricep and extend your right arm over your ear. So you're getting a nice deep stretch from your right hip to the fingertips of your right hand all along the right side of the body. Good. 
and then I slowly pull it back up. Draw the left knee in. And then open the right leg out to the side. Try to get as close to 90 degrees as you can. Bring the right forearm onto the right quadricep and extend your left arm over. And as you lengthen, feel that connection from the left hip to the fingertips of the left hand and get long through that side of the body. And then I slowly take it all the way back up and we're gonna come back to center. Okay, a um, couple different ways to do this. If you don't have arms on your chair, then you can try to scoot to the edge of the chair and extend the leg back. We're gonna try to stretch the thigh, the inner thigh area. Now, if you can't get to the edge of the chair that way, we can get to the edge of the chair this way. Right? I think that's probably going to work more for everybody. Taking that left leg out and extending the right leg behind you. And try to get that stretch on that inner thigh area. Facing the left knee. And then maybe extend the arms up. Try to relax your shoulders. Try to keep the breath flowing. Excellent. Relax your arms back down, drag that back leg in, pivot to face forward, right? Find that balancing centering position. And then other side, just face the other direction. Try to give yourself enough space so that you can really get, feel the sensation of the top and maybe onto the inner thigh. And this is connected, right? The psoas connects the lower back to the front of the leg. So if you feel the stretch here, it's very common to also feel the stretch back here. Extend the arms up. the arms down and bring it back to that neutral position. Really good. Okay, staying here in this position, let's go back to the neck. Bring your head to your right shoulder. Slowly rotate it back. Now, if it's too much resistance in the neck, just go to the range of motion that feels comfortable. And then over to the left into the chest. Let's do it again, just like that, right? And back, left, and center. Then reverse the circle. Take it left, bring it back to the right, and center, one more, left, Right and center, and pick your head back up. Good. Okay, couple options for this one. Now you can either just lift the leg and lower down, and it's okay if it doesn't come very high. And then we're gonna switch, or you're gonna lift and try to keep it lifted with your fingers. Circle the ankle, circle the other way, and lower down, okay? So it can be a small lift and lower or an interlace and lift, okay? So go ahead and grab onto the left leg or lift the left leg, hold it here, circle the ankle twice, and then the opposite direction, one, two, and take it down. We'll go right over to the other side, interlace behind the right leg, circle, 
and reverse. Take it down. Back to the left, lift. We're going to hold it a little bit longer, maybe a little higher. Circle three times. One, two, three. Reverse it. One, two, three. Take it down. Lift the right leg. One, two, three. Reverse. One, two, three. Take it down. Last one, we're going to go for four rotations on each side. Lift the left leg. Four, three, two, one. Reverse it. Four, three, two, one. Take it down. Last one on the right side. Four, three, two, one. Reverse it. Four. Three, two, one. Really good. And release it back down. Let's do one more twist. Starting to the left this time. Right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, looking over your left shoulder. Try to keep the spine lifted as you twist. And imagine yourself breathing into the low back. Gently untwist back to the center. And one more time to the other side. Back to center. Let's create that upper body arch one more time, maybe reaching back. Push up through the chest. Take it back up and back into that final gentle forward fold one more time. Slowly bring it all the way back up. Okay. So now we'll start to kind of close out the practice with another breathing technique. Um, our alternate nostril breathing. I think we've done this pretty much consecutively every week so far. So just to reiterate, we're using one hand to open and close the nostrils, whether you're doing it this way or you're just doing it with the thumb and index finger it's just one hand that's doing the action you're not switching out the hands that i mean i guess technically you could i just feel like it's a little bit easier just to keep one hand towards the face okay so take a deep inhale through both nostrils complete exhale out of both Close the right nostril and inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale through the left. Close the left, open right, exhale. Inhale right. Close right, open left, exhale. Inhale left. Close left, open right, exhale. Inhale right. Close right, open left, exhale. Last round, inhale left. 
Close left, open right, exhale. Inhale right. Close right, open left, exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, release your hands down. Take a deep inhale through both nostrils. Create a gentle release out of your mouth. Come back to your natural breath. And again, take this moment to observe. Connecting to what you're feeling in your body. Notice the nature of your mind. And most importantly, settle into a space of acceptance, honoring where you are right now. Remind yourself that you are enough. And then if you truly focus on what you have in this moment, you have everything you need to find a space of peace. It's okay if that's not your experience right now, but just keep in mind that it's there. Maybe even reconnect to the three things in your life that bring you peace. Maybe offer some gratitude to those things. And take your left hand on your heart and your right hand on the left. Deep inhale through your nose. Gentle sigh out of your mouth. Release ah. your arms. And blink open your eyes. <laughs>